I'm going to show you what I've designed the other day in FreeCAD and I will need a few things for this. Okay, cool. So this is the latest iteration of my modular DIN rail holders where you can slide in things as you please. This is the old design. I'm sure you've seen it. It's kind of clunky. Uh, this was done in Tinkercad. It's doing its job. So you've got the bit here that you can 3D print your holders for your electronics or whatever else it is. And it goes on and has, you know, uses some screws to tighten nuts and, you know, all that good stuff. Now, the new design, I enjoy quite thoroughly. I'm using, looks like a smiley face, doesn't it, with an evil one. So, yeah, it literally slides on, like, like so, nice and easy, clean design. I've tried different distances here because this is version 1. So, I'll just show you how to first clamp this bad boy. So, you don't want to insert a nut into one of the sides. Get one of the this bolts and tighten and tighten and tighten tighten it up get a screwdriver if you can this should be more helpful to get the result quicker okay still nice and loose when it exerts some pressure on the din rail that's when the magic happens so to speak here we go doesn't move as easily. Not sure if you can see this here that the uh, bolt, bolt, the end bits of the screw, whatever you call these things, now is applying pressure to the din rail. So now this is much harder to move. You obviously got second one to, you know, increase the pressure a bit just in case you want really some of that. So yeah, it would be better if I use the screwdriver for this one. So you can have two, okay? So it's a more snug, uh, snug finish. And the actual, uh, what you call it, nut aligns perfectly on its own. It's like, like magic. So all is good here. Now, okay, we're gonna get into the territory when it also is done the bite. Yeah, here we go. Not sure if you can see that. Uh, doesn't matter at this point. You've got the idea. Now, the third bit. This is the uh, part like in the first design. This will literally go in here. It's kind of snuggish. It's not like... It doesn't have too much slack. So I'm thinking to reprint this or adjust the actual... Um, holder the thingy the box <laughs> whatever you call it and this will use the same trick as before so you got the hole there and you have your lovely lovely bolt and to tighten it up same drill applies so this will be rather secure it's not gonna go anywhere trust me uh, here we go, nearly there. And I really like this design, much better than the first one. And it's much cleaner, you only get to print two parts. Okay, now it's nice and tight. Beautiful. This is not going out any day of the week. And if I want to just have this never ever move, apply a bit more pressure. Oh, using quite a bit of strength there and uh, yeah it's really hard to move now and I do like this design so much better and uh, there'll be a second iteration in the mating obviously but yeah this came out really nicely and uh, first go in FreeCAD so I do like it and I will probably share the um, the files for this so everyone can print it if you're working with uh, Din rails, and you want some, you know, DIY holders, uh, whatever they are called, or whatever they should be called, uh, to use in your projects. 
I will be definitely using this for the Arduino contraption thing I worked on before and I might include that somewhere up. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's it. You, you get the gist. I do like it and uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.